So it's um, <clears throat> Wednesday, March 23rd, and my second day in the Smokies. I spent my first night in my first shelter. Uh, you know, I've been avoiding staying in the shelters because <clears throat> of the mice, the disease, the norovirus, all kinds of things. I really kind of just wanted to stay out of the shelters, not to mention the snoring and you know the overcrowdedness and that sort of thing. So I've been tenting every night, and <clears throat> the Smokies have this rule, as I mentioned yesterday, that you have to stay in the shelters until the shelter is full, and then people can tent. Uh, I was really nervous about this because I wanted to tent, especially with Noro, and, uh, but I got to this shelter, and I was just so tired that I just said, you know what? Don't break any rules. There were only two other people there. It was Socket and Old, old Hiker. Uh, who were building a fire, so it was going to be nice and toasty in there, and the temperature was dipping, so I said, you know what, you got to do it sometime, let's just do it, and I had the best night's sleep in weeks, I don't understand, I mean, I literally <clears throat> slept from, well, we went into, our, got in our sleeping bags and quieted down about eight, but then two people arrived really late at nine, so I guess I fell asleep about 10 o'clock. I got up at 8 this morning. So I got a really, uh, really great night's sleep. I'm not afraid of the shelters anymore. A couple times in the night I did wake up and uh, I heard a mouse squeaking kind of next to me. And I just said, whatever, and just <laughs> rolled over. Um, so interesting. Uh, that fear I had for weeks just really unfounded and kind of taught me a little bit of a lesson but anyway I'm planning on trying to do uh, depending on the terrain today trying to do about 15 I know just last week I was talking about how I shouldn't do those big miles and already I'm I've been breaking my rule somebody called me out on it in the comments already but and it's true um, but the terrain here is so so good that I think I'm going to see how I feel and uh, won't push it too hard, but um, we'll see how I get. I'll check in later. So it's five o'clock and I'm really starting to love this time of the day. Um, most people have settled on where they're staying and they've picked a shelter and are already kind of settled in. And so I have the trail to myself. It's really quiet um, and just peaceful and serene. Um, the next shelter is about 2.5 miles away, so I should probably get there about 6.30, I guess, which will give me plenty of time to kind of settle into the shelter. Hopefully there'll be a spot there that I can just put down my sleeping bag and make my dinner and then go to bed. Hikers Midnight is 8 o'clock these days, or 7.45. Um, when the lights, when the sun goes down, there's really not much you can do, so... Um, Everybody's pretty much quiets down then, unless there's a bonfire, and if there's a bonfire, people will stay up for another half hour or so, but for the most part, people are definitely in bed by 9 o'clock, uh, and then people start rustling and getting ready to go around 6. Um, today, we didn't get up until, there were only five of us in the shelter ultimately, and none of us got up until about 8, so uh, got that extra sleep, but uh, it was a really nice day, and uh, Looks like it's ending nice too. I'll see you tomorrow.